All right, it is time for my weekly what sold video. I'm gonna let you know what I sold this past week on Depop, Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark. Those are the five platforms that I sell on. If you're new to this channel, which I had a lot of new subscribers this week, thank you for coming to watch another video. I am a full-time reseller. My name is Heather and I go by the Canary Closet everywhere on all of my platforms. Sorry, I just got an eating a snack. I got these little pretzel things from hy -Vee, and they're actually like so good. Garlic Parmesan. Um, anyway, if you wanna follow me anywhere, I am starting to delete my Facebook groups because I honestly just don't use them very much. And when I did, they didn't really get much interaction. So I'm like, what's the point? All of the information is down below. You can also find all of the products that I use for my business, including my light box, my um, poly mailers, my camera for YouTube, if you're interested in doing that. There's an Amazon link for all of those things. You can also use that Amazon link if you're going to buy anything on Amazon. As long as you use my link, I do get a little bit of kickback from what you buy. And if you're like me, I use Amazon like literally every week. So if you wanna support my channel and support me, you can do it that way as well. Thank you so much for that. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing that down below. Give this video a thumbs up and comment either at the end or really anytime because that helps YouTube know that people want to watch this video and they'll push it out and then hopefully I'll get more views and then I can continue to grow this channel, which I'm super excited about. So sales for me this week were just like not the best. So let me know down below how they were for you. I feel like I had some good sales, but then I also had some days where it was like, yikes. But I also realized that my eBay coupon ended on the 17th, I think. And I'm like so bad about checking that because I set it up and then sometimes I'll change it, but I always forget when it ends. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, and that's usually when my eBay slows down is when my coupon ends. And I'm currently not running any markdown sales either. So I don't know, but it's okay. It's still been okay. Let's check out what I sold first on Depop. Okay, so just one sale on Depop. I sold this Polo Ralph Lauren sweater vest. This was a men's black cotton sweater vest. I don't think it was vintage, but sweater vests are really in right now, I think for men's and women's. It did have the red pony logo on the left chest and it sold on Depop for $25. So that was it there. We will go on to Facebook Marketplace. I did have a few sales over there. Also, this is for um, November 24th through December 1st. I am filming this on Thursday night. So if I have any like amazing sales tonight before I would normally film tomorrow morning, I will add them in at the end. So we'll see, I do usually get most of my sales, I feel like at night more than during the day. So I sold this Torrid 4X black floral plus size top on Marketplace for $20. I do have a 20% off promotion going on Facebook Marketplace too. It's really easy to do. If you need any help with that, just let me know. Um, and then another Torrid shirt, this was a size 4X. It was just in one of my recent hauls. It was the Emma um, chalice plaid top. It was green. This also sold for $20. So plus size sells really good because here's another one, a Catherine's shirt in a size 4X. It was a beaded plus size top for $20. And that is it, just a few there on Marketplace. So I would say if you want to sell on that platform, it is pretty easy. I use, um, what do I use? Magic Crosslister, Crossless Magic. It's called one of those two things. I literally always forget. Sorry, the lighting's not great. I have like the window behind me, but it's starting to be sunset time and I my light up above me is not working. So it's just back behind me. Anyway, I cross list, it's free, it's amazing. It's really easy. I do things on eBay first because I feel like that has the most item specifics. And then I just push this little green button and it pops up all the other windows on my computer. And then I fill in just a couple extra things. So that's what I use for cross listing. Anyway, Marketplace, I don't make a ton. Same with Depop, but it is so easy to cross list that I figure why not? My Mercari was slow this week too. Um, so let's see what I sold there. I sold three things. One was a J. Crew coat. This was in a size eight. It was the city coat, which is a really good style. So if you look up the number, it'll say city coat and it is a wool or a wool blend. Um, and this one sold for $60, so that was great. And then the next was a new to me brand. I found this at a thrift store um, over in Omaha. This kind of just like smaller that I don't go to as much but I looked it up because it was 100% wool and it said made in Ireland. So the brand was Jimmy, I don't even know how to say the last name, H-O-U-R-I-H-A-N. And it was a cape, but it also said made in Ireland. So anytime you see made in Ireland with the wool, look that up, it's usually good. This sold super fast for $108. And I was like, holy crap, that's amazing. So. That was a great sale. I guess that makes up for not having as many sales because some of my little sales would just add up to that. 
And then next was an Eileen Fisher dress. This wasn't a size extra large. It was a green like cap sleeve, loose fit knee length dress. And that sold for $35.09. I don't know where the nine cents came from, but that's it for Poshmark. So we will go on to, I mean, that's it for Mercari. We'll go on to eBay next. Okay. First, a pair of soft surroundings, pull on jeans and a plus size one X. These sold for a measly $6. I've had these for a really long time. I do have good luck with soft surroundings, tops and sweaters coats, just not the jeans, I guess. I don't know. I haven't sold the jeans good for a while, so I have just stopped picking them up. Um, these ones sold for $6. Maybe I could have relisted them, but I don't know. It was like I sent out, I think like 50% off offers of like really old items in my closet. And that came from that. Okay. Next was a pair of Cole Haan shoes. These were women's in a size eight and a half. They were black leather, a wingtip Oxford style. So kind of like business um, they're very lightweight though. They sold for $29. Uh, an extra pair of Madewell jeans, which I hardly ever pick up anymore. Even some of the better styles, I look up comps and they're so bad. Like they're either low or the sell through rate is like literally trash on eBay. Like there's tons available and hardly any sold. So I'm just like not getting those at the thrift store. These ones were the Cali Demi boot and they were in a size 25 and they sold for $11. So I don't know if it's different for you, but for me, Madewell has been literally sucking it up. Next are a pair of figs pants. These are in a size extra small. This is a good like nursing doctor brand to be on the lookout for. They don't usually sell for a ton for me, but they usually sell pretty decent. Okay, I'm gonna move this camera. I feel like this is getting like way too dark. So let's go somewhere else in the house. Where? Maybe in my living room or my dining room, I mean. I was literally just in the room. I don't wanna go down under my lights. Okay, that's better. Even though it's kind of yellowy, we're just gonna finish this in here. Is that too like bad? I don't know. It's okay. I think it'll work. Okay, the figs pants sold for $20. Nursing scrub brand. These were the straight leg style. The joggers tend to do better for me, but if it's cheap, I will still pick up almost all styles. So that's great. These were called the Livingston style. Next was an Athleta down puffer vest. This was interesting because my camera's crooked. I feel like. This was interesting because I'm not a professional YouTuber. Um, when I looked up sell through rate on eBay on this exact style, it was really bad, but I was like a puffer down vest right now. I feel like it's going to sell really good. So I'm just going to chance it and it sold super fast. It did sell on Poshmark $29. So sometimes you just have to go with your gut. Next was the brand, the limited, which I hardly ever get. Is this even around anymore? I don't know. This was a mall brand like back in the day when I was a teenager, but it was a vintage since it was older than 20 years, I'm assuming. Um, silk skirt, it was a size large. So, and it was also a maxi skirt. So very like um, 90s Y2K style. So I did look up comps before I bought it and they were pretty good for limited vintage silk skirts. So that's why I picked that up. That was a great sale. Next was the brand Maggie Barnes. This is a plus size brand. I don't know where it's sold at, but sometimes I see Maggie Barnes with Catherine's. This one was new with tags in a size 3X. It had a roll tab sleeve, um, just like a button up plus size top and it sold for $25. Next was the brand Soft Surroundings. This was in a size 1X. It was a purple um, like tensile, which was like a, like a Lyocell tunic. This was, I already said the size. And that's over $25. <coughs> Next repair of Sorel boots, which I happily sold really fast because they were kind of beat. They were in a size seven. They were the Emily Chelsea boots, but like the back, there was like spelled out Sorel. It was like, kind of like, I don't know, crunched down. It was kind of, I don't know. It was just like, they were worn out. I did use some leather conditioner around them. I feel like I cleaned up the leather part pretty good, um, but they still sold really fast for $35. So I was happy about that. Next was a new with tags Bogner shirt. So Bogner is very expensive, but sometimes it doesn't sell that great for me. So maybe look up comps on certain styles. Oh, I'm just doing my video right here. Um, yes. Oh, good. Okay. This one was in a size medium. It was a blue striped long sleeve kind of polo with the collars and that sold for $40. Okay, next was another figs item. This was a top. I found this in a set, but I did decide to list them separately because they were separate sizes. The top was an extra small 
and the bottoms were a small, I already sold the bottoms really, really fast. This was the Raphael maybe style, if that's how you say it. It was an oversized um, scrub top and kind of like the classic, I feel like medical green color. And that sold for $21. Next is a pair of Democracy jeans. I feel like I'm selling at least one pair a week from those. Okay, Ryan's gonna be doing dishes in the background. Fair warning, hopefully it's not too loud, Ryan. <laughs> These were in a size 18. They were a dark wash, high rise, stretch boot cut. The boot cuts do sell much quicker for me than the skinnies, but the skinnies still sell in larger sizes. These ones sold for $27. Next is a definite Bolo brand. This is the brand Loro Piana. Speaking of that, I just watched Keegan's video, the teen reseller, and he found a ton of it in a thrift store and I was so jealous. Um, go to his channel and check out his latest video because it was actually an insane haul. This was a pair of shorts, women's in a size eight. These sold for $110, which is like crazy for a pair of women's shorts. So I was really excited about that. Um, these were like my weekend sales where it was like, I had like three really good ones in a row. Next were a pair of Driftwood jeans. These were in a size 27. They were the Jackie style. So on Driftwood, I think it says it like on the tag. So it makes it super easy. They were floral embroidered, mid-rise skinny in a size 27 and they sold for $42. And then next for a pair of mother jeans in a size 28. I've been seeing these at the consignment store and they finally went down on sale to $15. So I grabbed them and they were a high rise flare style with like an anchor patch on the back and they sold for $85. So that is really good. Um, next was a bundle of two items. One were a pair of Ugg slippers, like gray fuzzy slippers and then a free people size large tan striped Henley type top. Those sold together for $45. <clears throat> and that's it on Poshmark. So we will go on to eBay last. Okay, first thing I sold in eBay, I just sold that. I just sold this this afternoon. It was a Saks Fifth Avenue sweater. This was in a size large. It was pink, 100% cashmere, and it was a sleeveless turtleneck style. And that sold for $35. Next was an Eddie Bauer coat. This was in a size small. I picked this up at a local Goodwill for I think $10. It was downfilled, so I'm really looking for a lot of downfilled coats and things like that right now. It was called the duffel coat. That was the style. It was a mid-length that went under the knee and then it had a faux fur hood. And that sold for $50. Next was a new with tags J. Jill dress. I just showed this in a haul recently. It wasn't a size extra large. It was just a gray basic long sleeve dress, but I did get it because of being in new with tags and the size and it sold super quick for $28. Next was the brand Mission Canyon, which I've never heard of. I found a lot of this at the thrift store when I went last Saturday. They were all, almost all of them were just one size. This one was like a blue purple color and that sold for $36 really fast. So we'll see how the other pieces do, if it's like a brand that maybe you should be on the lookout for, but it's very like, I don't know, like Boho, California, I feel like. Um, next was a Burton jacket. This was a zip up hooded, size small men's jacket and it sold for $31. Next is the brand Toting Co. This is like an outdoor um, hiking type brand. It was a hooded organic cotton long sleeve dress. This was about knee length in a size medium that sold for $22. Next for a pair of Ariat jeans. I pick up these anytime I see them as long as they are a good price. These were in a size 29 short. They were a straight leg style medium wash and those sold for 30 bucks. Next was a Catherine shirt. This was in a size 4X. It was a paisley print and it was kind of like a long sleeve button up, more of a cotton type of shirt, whereas most of the items that get for the men are more like stretchy and like maybe more of like a polyester. Anyway, that sold for $20. Next was a sinful jacket. This was in a size large. It had like the skull and crossbones in the back with all of this like rhinestone embellishment detail. It was a crop jacket and that sold for my full asking price of $35. Next for a pair of Judy Blue jeans. These were in a size 30. They were a pair of skinny distressed jeans in a mid-rise. Those sold for $25. So again, skinny in the larger sizes of certain brands still do good. Can Can's not doing that good for me anymore, but Judy Blue still does better. So I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Um, next for a pair of Wild Fable pants. I brought these home for Grace thinking that she would like them, but they didn't really fit her around her waist. She has a hard time finding pants that fit her around the waist the same day. It's the same way they do around her hips. Um, so I sold them and they did sit for a really long time, but they finally sold for $8. So 
I did make some money on them, but not much. Um, next was an aloe yoga jacket. This was in a size medium. This was definitely an older style by the tag. It was a full zip athletic, like bomber style jacket and that sold for $25. Next to a pair of Millie Lotan pants, if that's how you say that brand. I got a couple pairs of these at a consignment store for $15. These were in a size 12. They were a chino, just like a basic khaki style and they sold for $60. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. I see you trying to be extra quiet. <laughs> Next, a pair of Athleta shorts. These were in a size small. They were the black mesh racer run shorts and a four inch inseam, and they sold for $20. I picked up these and a red pair. I think they both sold for 20. So that's pretty good for Athleta shorts. Next, a pair of Miss Me jeans. These were in a size 26. They were a low rise embellished studded skinny jeans, and they sold for $35, my full asking price. Next was an Eileen Fisher shirt in a size 1X. So anytime on the tag that it says Eileen Fisher woman, that means it's plus size. This one was organic cotton. It did sell pretty quickly for $36. Next was a Peruvian connection dress. This was in a size medium. It was a blue sleeveless Pima cotton maxi dress and that sold for $35. One of my favorite brands to sell, this is IC by Connie Collection. This was a size small, black striped, oversized, open, relaxed jacket. Those were all of the keywords that I used and that sold for $30. Next was another Catherine's top. This one wasn't a size 3X. It was a printed green, just like a business casual type look for $20. I sold this Banana Republic coat in a size medium. I picked this up at a local Salvation Army, which I hardly ever go into anymore because my Salvation Armies around here have been like really bad like not very much good stuff, even though their prices are good. This one did sell for $55, so I'm happy with that. It was wool, it was a mid-length uh, belted peacoat style. Next, we're a pair of Duluth Trading Company pants. Um, again, another outdoor hiking brand. These were in a size 14 and they sold for $20. Next is the brand Sophie Dore, D apostrophe H-O-O-R-E. I don't know how to say that. If you can pronounce that somehow for me in the comments, that would be great. We'll see if I can remember how to say it right. I got these on sale somewhere, I don't remember where. Size large, high rise, wide leg crop pants sold very fast for $55, so be on the lookout for that brand. Next was a Catherine's top, again, this was in a size 3X, a striped plus size tunic length top for $21. I sold the soft surroundings jacket in a size extra large. This was a red hooded style and it did have like this velvet type block on the bottom. It was a tunic length. I did put Christmas in my keywords and it sold for $31. Next was an Eileen Fisher dress. This was a petite medium midi length dress. It was black, very just like basic classic um, office business, things like that. $37. I'm trying to tell you all these keywords because keywords are huge when you're making your listing. So make sure when you're on there that you fill up your space as much as you can with your title, with good keywords. And think of keywords that people are gonna be searching for, not how you would explain it. So sometimes I don't bother putting in the full style name of something. Certain brands it's good too because people are looking for an exact style, but I feel like some stuff, like you need to think about how the buyer's going to search for it. Like they don't know all of these certain terms that we do as resellers. So kind of be thinking about that. And that's it for my sales guys. So thank you so much for watching. Sorry for Ellie whining in the background. I will be back Sunday, Ellie. Let's not. She wants to go outside and bark at the neighbor dogs, but I'm not gonna let her. Okay, Ellie, can you please stop? Do you wanna say hi to everybody? Ellie, say hi. Ellie, stop running away. See, she looks out this window and then she can see the dogs and then she tries to go to the back door because she wants to go to the fence and bark at them, but I don't let her. Okay. Let me finish my little outro. Sunday, I don't know what my video is gonna be. It's maybe a haul video or maybe a thread up designer unboxing. I think I have enough stuff to do a haul video so I might save the thread up unboxing for when I'm like, I don't have enough items or like I really need a quick video. So anyway, I'll be back. Thank you again. I will see you guys soon. I'm gonna go take care of Ellie. Bye.